So we are definitely doing some things outside of the box. We are intentionally trying to put you outside of your comfort zone, if for no other reason for you to realize that you do have some choices in how you're going to run your classroom. And you don't have to do it as been modeled to you for however many years. Uh, there, there are different methods and different pedagogical strategies and different ways that you can do things. So that being said, uh, we're going to turn in things a little bit strangely. So in this course, pretty much everything, unless otherwise stated, but 99% is turned in digitally. Uh, we, we just don't take paper. Um, we don't want you to email us work. We will not accept any work via email. Um, we are going to be mostly using Google Docs. Uh, so it's drive.google.com, and you'll be able to create all of your documents in there. And there's so many awesome things about Google that we really think you're going to like, but that is going to be required. Um, and then everything has to be neatly organized on your digital portfolio. So you're going to create a website. I'm going to create a Google website. And you're going to embed all your Google Docs and all your work and put your reflections on the Google site. And that does not count as turning it in. That is just how you present all of your work. You still have to submit your digital work via, I have a, a spreadsheet and it's going to have a blue link on there and you're going to need to click on that blue link and fill out a form and submit your digital evidence. Um, so you have to fill that out. If at the end of the semester I look at, I'm going to look at this list, it should be 23 method objectives, 23 tech objectives, and um, five badges if you'd like to earn an A in this course. Um, and so if you don't have those turned in, if you only turned in five, I have to go by five. Even if I look on your digital portfolio and I can see clearly you have more than five, and by the way, you will, <laughs> there's no way for you to only have five um, <laughs> if you show up every day. So uh, you do have to turn it in. Now, anything you do, you have to clearly communicate, right? So everything you do in your digital portfolio needs to be neatly organized and easy to find. There's no particular way that you have to have to put it together, um, but it does need to be easy for us to locate the key assignments and the things that we're looking for. Also, any document that you create, uh, you don't just title it work or lesson plan. Lesson plan is a terrible name for a document. Please do not do that. Uh, you, titling your documents should be meaningful. Uh, so what I have in the, uh, there's some way that I've asked you to do it in the syllabus, but basically it should have your, your name in it and a meaningful description of the assignment. You, know, you say what it is, and if it has a quest number to go with it, put, put the quest number in the title of the document so that everything is easy uh, to communicate with us and we know what we're looking at. So, thanks.